What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbas. Today, we're gonna attempt to swap out the harness bar that's in the Civic, right here, this harness bar. And we are gonna place it into the four door. And I believe that there's gonna be a small little problem, little issue, but we'll try to work with it once we get there. Um, that issue is going to be this bolt that runs through here. On this one, it's not adjustable. It's just like one solid bolt that goes through. On this Civic, the seatbelt is actually adjustable. So you guys can see what I mean right here. I like to place mine at the lowest position. I'm not a tall guy. I'm only 5'9". So the lowest position will work good for me. If it's up too high, it'll run across my neck. So right there, if I could get it to sit right there somehow, then that'll work for me. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all these and see what's behind here, how this works and everything. I believe this little cover will just pop out somehow. There you go. And there's the bolt that I need. So that wasn't bad at all. All right, so I'm gonna head to the other car and I'm gonna start to pull that brace out and we're gonna definitely bring it over here and try to set it up in this other car. You guys already know the drill. I'm going to throw you on a quick time lapse and let's get started. So everything bolted up perfect. I had no problems at all. It's nice and tight. I'm gonna go ahead and get some wipes and wipe it all down. The whole thing's nice and clean now. And it's looking pretty nice. I'm really liking how this is starting to turn out. Um, let's go ahead and pull out this cluster and swap it out for the SI one. According to this uh, shell, it's got 184,169 miles. This right here is showing me that this car was either automatic at one time or that this cluster came from a different car. The only way to really know if this was an automatic or a five speed would be for me to pull this out and see if there's a giant hole right here that somebody cut out and they put a they either reinforced it or they closed it down a little bit but there should be a, some kind of a plate under here that is not OEM there should only be like a small little hole right here nothing crazy it should actually look like this You guys see what this looks like that's what that tunnel should look so if that tunnel on this car looks like that that means that this car was a stick shift always and that this came from somewhere else but if there's a giant hole right here and somebody patched it up then this car was automatic and it was turned to manual but I'm not taking this off anytime soon so let me go ahead and start removing this guy. 
Got a little screwdriver. Should be a little screw up here, which I almost pulled off right now. There it is. There should be another one over here. Now that those two bolts are removed, just be able to pull this out a little bit, little by little. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these right here. There's one, two, three, and four. They're all off. Now I can just take this, pull it completely out, and disconnect it from back here. There you go, everything's disconnected. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the SI one. Here's a comparison, cluster to cluster. Everything in the back should be the same. It just plugs in and just plug and play. So there it is. Let me put the key in, show you guys that it all works. All right, so what you guys think? Should I swap this out also? Little gas cap that I made for this one. And then I'll go ahead and paint this one leather brown and put it on here. Let me know in the comments below. And this is gonna be the end of today's video. Um, maybe tomorrow I'll go ahead and start swapping out the suspension in the front and get that done so i will catch you guys on my next video till then peace out stay safe catch you guys later